Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to climb down mountains in the long dark. So, and particularly on the summit, you might find quite a bit of gear in the crates and you want to get it back down to the mountaineer's hut, but you can't climb the ropes because it weighs too much. Now, of course, you could do this over multiple runs, just go back up and down, but this is very tedious. Now the thing with the long dark is that you can climb down pretty much any mountain, uh, any area that has a rope, you can climb down it using ledges. Today we're going to look at how to get down from the summit if you're over encumbered and without using the ropes. Now there are multiple ways to do this and there are multiple different routes. You can go in pretty much any direction from the plane and you will get to whichever area you want, you want to go. Uh, the best, but we're only going to look at some of them. Now before we start, there's a couple of general tips you should know. The first tip is to crouch as much as possible. Now when climbing down mountains, there is a pretty high sprain risk because of the slopes. And when you're carrying a lot of gear, the risk of sprains increases. So don't be surprised if you get quite a few going down the mountain to begin with. But the second reason you want to do it is because of safety. If you don't do it, you could be walking too fast and you could end up on a ledge that leads to your death. In this example here, I misremember the route and I took a wrong turn and I ended up right at a, a ledge that could have led to my death, but I backtracked and went the right way. In the long dark, you can climb pretty much any slope or mountain down. You just do it very slowly and just look around. You don't, when you practice this yourself, you don't need to use the routes that I am showing you now. You can just head in the direction you want to go, crouch, go very slowly, and just look where you can go in any given moment. And usually you will manage to get down safely. You might take some minor fall damage now and then, but for the most part, you'll be fine. So always crouch to reduce sprains and also be safe. Just a disclaimer, on in this video, the sprains have been turned off in a custom game just for practical reasons to make loading and saving easier in order to make these videos. But normally, of course, they would be on and you would have a sprain risk going down the mountain. The second tip is to always look for ledges. Now, the long dark textures make it pretty easy to see where you can and can't go, particularly when looking straight down. A good example of this is the location where you actually got up to the summit. If you wanted to get down here for whatever reason, but you're carrying too much stuff, it's pretty easy. Just take a left from the rope, and then you crouch, and just very carefully make your way down. And as you can see, the ledges are pretty visible. It's pretty easy to see where you can go and where you can't. There isn't really any kind of slipping mechanic in the long dark, so you can't really like slip on the ledge and fall down. Your character literally has to walk over the pixel and then fall down. So if you do it very slowly and look down, you can see the textures and the ledges really easy. And you just follow them uh, as a guide. And this clip here that I'm showing you is actually the first time I ever climbed down this path. And I managed on the first attempt without taking any damage. So it's pretty easy. Okay, now with that to it, there are multiple different other routes you can take. You can go any way you want, but I'm only really going to show you two, which is the most important one, and one you can use for uh, an alternative route. So well, that said, let's get to it. Now the first route we're going to look at is how to get straight down from the summit and towards the mountaineer's hut, which is usually what you would want to be doing because you're carrying too much stuff. And this is pretty easy. You just start in the fuselage or the tail end, I guess it is and walk down here under and don't forget to loot this corpse that's here if uh, you haven't already then just keep heading down under the plane and start moving towards the right as soon as you are able and once you've gotten down here it's pretty straightforward from this location because you have now enter the snowy slope and you can just go down it. it's pretty straight really um, you don't even have to crouch some of these segments I would say because it's pretty it's pretty even, but be careful nonetheless. Eventually, when you follow this path, you will reach the upper area of the Crystal Lake, the area just before it. And from here, you can 
walk all the way around you don't need any ropes you can just walk around the area and down to the mountaineers hut but a faster way would be to just ignore the next rope so what you want to do is walk towards the rope and just walk past it and from here uh, you can just choose any direction really just do what we talked about just look down find the ledge find some snow carefully make your way down and once you're there you are actually at the bottom of the mountain and from here it's a short walk over to Crystal Lake and the Mountaineers Hut. Now this route is very fast and efficient it took me about three minutes from the summit to the Mountaineers Hut using this route and I was carrying about 40 kilos which isn't that much especially if you're well fed and have the satchel so of course if you're carrying a lot more it will take a little bit longer but it's still pretty fast it's straightforward it's low risk so this is the recommended route i would take to get all your loot back down from the summit now there is one alternative route that i would like to show you briefly uh, only because you may have found the rope on the summit or somewhere else and you'd like to get back down to the plateau and attach it to the climbing rock so that you can more easily get back up now of course one way to do this is to just climb down the rope that you used to get up like I showed earlier but an alternative is to head behind the plane and towards the west or the left behind the plane and head towards this slope up here and from here you could if you want you could climb down straight down be a little careful it's quite steep but you could do this and you get to the engine and from here you could just continue as normal to the mountaineers hut but if you want to get to the upper plateau and attach the mountaineers rope you go on the right here and you follow these ledges this path is a little tricky at first you have to pay some attention to where the ledges are but it's pretty intuitive if you just crouch and walk slowly you should be able to see where most of the areas that um, you know walkable are and once you get but you can actually if it's a clear day you should be able to see where you're going most of the time you can see your goal in the distance just follow that and once you get down to the ground head over to the uh, the rope and attach it and then there you go and now you can access the summit easier uh, next time now of course just as a little side note if you did make it this far and you wanted to now get back to the mountaineers hut but if you're still carrying too much stuff well then you just have to climb down here as well just do like we did before just look for ledges and go down um, you don't have to take this route this is probably not the most optimal route I sometimes get fall damage here but it's really not a big deal um, if you decide to do this in the next rope by the way be a little bit careful because there is a bear down there and uh, that happened to me in an earlier run I ran into an aurora bear who was literally just camping outside the, the ropes and that wasn't, wasn't great so be careful with that uh, yep so that's it that's the end of the video i hope that uh, you have learned now how to get down from the summit without using ropes it's pretty easy don't be afraid to explore with yourself and find new routes that could be better than this and uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more sort of tutorials for the long dark please let me know and i'll uh, consider making more about any kind of in-game mechanic or anything you'd like to know so with that, have a good day and survive well.